وهم عنها معرضون many other signs in the heavens and on the earth they human beings pass by يمرون عليها وهم عنها معرضون and not even paying attention being instead of helplessness turning their backs or turning their attention away from it time is so important that our scholars wrote many books to help the muslim utilize his day the way it is to be utilized Imam Nasai he has a book known as Amal al Yomi Wal Laylati, the work of the night, the work of the day and the night. Meaning the Muslim has to know what to do during the day and what to do during the night. Cannot have any minute of his day or night pass without using it the way it is supposed to be used. Ibn Sunni rahmatullah alayhi like one. Al Imam Suyuti Kalai. Why? They help us organize our time. It is said that Sayyidina Abu Bakr anhu said to Sayyidina Umar in his wasiya after asking him to fear Allah in that is the wasiya of Sayyidina Rasulullah actually the wasiya of Allah himself. Walaqad wasayna alladhina utu al kitabah مِنْ قَبْلِكُمْ وَإِيَّاكُمْ أَنِ اتَّقُوا اللَّهِ سيدنا أبو بكر سيد سيدنا عمر وعلم أن لله عملا بالنهار لا يقبله بالليل وعملا بالليل لا يقبله بالنهار There are things that you're supposed to do which you cannot wait They are supposed to be done during the day If done after that, during the night, will not be accepted by Allah. Likewise, there are things that are, be, are to be done during the night and cannot wait till tomorrow. And he's saying is in Hiliyatul Awliya li Sayyidi Abu Nu'ayn, Rahmatullah Ali. Very beautiful book. So Sayyidina Abu Bakr, true Sayyidina Umar is teaching us how to organize our time. How to be consistent, as one of the scholars say, both but tambut. Be consistent, so you will grow. Uh, there's a saying that was uh, was recorded, um, reported that it was said by Sayyidina Abu Hanifa, rahmatullah alayhi, "Fala nabata bila habat." There is no grow without consistency. There is no plant without consistency. If you, you know, want to grow a plant, you have to consistently, uh, constantly take care of it. And Sayyid Abdul Qadir Jailani was uh, reported to have said, Uthbud hatatambud. Be consistent until you grow. And that can be understood by the saying of Rasulullah or through so the saying of Sayyidina Rasulullah. Many other times we think we are killing time by doing nothing, playing games, buying, actually buying games, people buy games. You know, we have free times, we think, and we say we have, I have some free time, I have some spare time. We're, we're killing sometimes by watching not knowing that it is the time that is killing us by sleeping by vain talk by talking about so and so but biting not only that we're using we're killing our time not only that our time is killing us but we're destroying ourselves by giving all our hasanat if we have hasanat to others one of the scholars say the nisful umri tam hakuhu layali. If one lives 60 years, say a half of his life 
was eaten, was erased by nights. Mm. Because we are awake during the day and sleep at night. The half of that half of our life is gone. Thirty years of the sixty years is gone. Why? Because the night has taken it. They say the half of the remaining half is lost. Why? Because of he is his state of hopelessness. Because he does not know how to manage his time. And then he say and one third of the remaining half has been taken from us by our greed for wealth, for fame, for being important, for work, for you know, taking care of one's family. But well, taking care of one's family and work can be considered as acts of worship because Allah says, وَقُلْ يَعْمَدُوا فَإِذَا قُضِيَتِ الصَّلَاةُ فَانْتَشِرُوا فِي الْأَرْضِ وَبْتَغُوا مِنْ فَضْلِ اللَّهِ So what is remaining? Say, وَبَاقِ الْعُمْرِ أَسْقَامُ وَشِيبُ وَآبَاتُ تَدُلُّ عَلَى الْإِقَالِ The remaining part of the life is sicknesses, old age, you know, inabilities which remind us that the time of departure is near. The time of departure is near. Then he says, وَحُبُّ الْمَرْئِ وَلَا الْعُمْرِ جَهْلُ وَقِسْمَتُهُ عَلَى هَذَا الْمِثَالِ The love of long life, say, is ignorance. If one does allow his life to be divided this way. Yes, long life is good. But if life is spent like this or this way, then what is the benefit of that long life? And what is long life? If one lives for 100 years, we say, MashaAllah, he lives a long life. 100 years is nothing. And nothing compared to the life that is waiting for us. Even compared to the life of this dunya. Allah has created this dunya for thousands, millions, billions of years before we came. And we will go and Allah knows how many thousands, millions and billions of years will remain. And the real life to Allah is the life of Akhirah. وَإِنَّ الدَّارَ لَأَخِرَةَ so our problems, our defects, are that we do not plan. And if we happen to plan, we don't execute. And if we happen to execute, we don't continue, we don't apply the consistency taught to us by Allah Tabaraka wa Ta'ala in Sayyiduna Rasulullah. We don't plan. And if we do not plan, nothing can be done. And many are the ones who, when they do plan, they do not act according to their plan. And many are those who, when they try to act according to their plan, they do not have what we call a taymuma. Consistency. Both good and good. So, how we can do what we are supposed to do in this very limited life of ours. Very limited. During this year, last year, many of the people, you will see them say, of course, oh, this is the worst year, cursing the year of 2020. You know, saying that, let it go. 
But Allah Ta'ala said, La tasubudda. Do not curse time. Because I am the one who makes time. If one gives you food, <coughs> and invites you to his house, and gives you food, and you eat the food, then curse the food. Who are you really cursing? The one who prepared the food. So when we curse time, we are cursing the one who created time. And it is Allah Tabaraka wa Ta'ala who <coughs> created time. We always complain about time, how difficult time is. I heard one comedian say that he has problem when people complain about time. He said, because we have Wi-Fi. People were laughing, but it's a great blessing, Wi-Fi. How many books you can read using Wi-Fi? How many other cars you can have access to? How many ayahs of the Quran you can read? How many conferences that are useful you can use, you can listen to? How many good things you can do using Wi-Fi? And he said, we have Wi-Fi, we have internet. <laughs> we curse internet, saying that internet has, I mean, there are good things on the internet and there are 